I'm so delighted today to be addressing you at this occasion of commissioning the Green Hydrogen Atlas project. Let me start by appreciating very much the leadership of our ministers. The Ministerial Council Chairman, Mr. Yahuza Sadiso, and the German Federal Minister in charge of Education and Research, Mrs. Anya Kalishek. Their leadership is so outstanding in this initiative. They have together launched it in February in Bonn. And their expectation forms a kind of energy for us to push and move the project forward to the completion. I would like to just recall that WASCA is a science-based center. And as a science-based center, our objective is to save West Africa with climate and environmental services that can boost West African development in partnership with our German partners and also other international partners. So we are very delighted to be part of this initiative, Go Green, Go Africa. That is a key for our future. That's key for next generation. Indeed, energy is source of life. Can you imagine in this 21st century, you find yourself in a village where some of our agricultural products are just being lost, spoiled because of lack of technology means for conservation, for processing, and thereby that contribute to the vulnerability of rural communities, contributing to poverty, and in fact, hindering sustainable development. And that is the case in most of the part of rural communities in West Africa. Indeed, the share of West Africa uh, community accessing to energy is around 50%. This means that we are really behind and we need to boost access to the energy. And therefore, this project aiming at green hydrogen production for West Africa and also for sustainable development worldwide is key for us. And it must be led by science because any development that needs to be sustainable has to be mastered through science. And that's why we are so proud to be part of it. We are willing to serve as platform for West Africa in partnership with ECOWAS, the specialized institution of ECOWAS in charge of energy. We are proud together to partner in this initiative. Let me remind you that since last year, we have started through a brainstorming workshop that led us to formulate key ideas for this project, key milestones for this project. And thereby, right now, as I'm speaking to you, we have established West African Technical Committee, and this committee is uh, reviewing, orienting, and leading the process in the ground so that we can have very strong scientific approaches to deliver and roll out. The national teams are also ready, so we really need right now, we are happy that we can commission this project and we take it from there to provide necessary data that will be just conveyed and put into the software for us to have the atlas. And this atlas will be a key milestone that will help proceed with pilot project and also upscaling it. So we are looking at near future to have a green hydrogen production in West Africa, this time not based on fuel or traditional energy sources, or thereby creating more emissions. But this time, we want to turn it into clean and green technologies for hydrogen production. And this is really something 
We are looking at and we are sure that together with our partners, we'll get there. So let me thank all the partners that are involved in the project. We would like to thank BMBF for funding this project and for the good cooperation we are having with them. We would like also to thank Yulish team for the leadership on the project and I would like to thank ECOWAS, ICRI leadership and all other partners within the 15 countries of ECOWAS and also all the other partners that will come on board in the course of the implementation of the project. Thank you for making this initiative happen and thank you that together we will reach and attain the objectives that are set for this project.